everyone i am lena and welcome to my channel in today's video i have a book haul for you guys i personally love watching book hauls so i decided that as my very first youtube video i will also be doing a book haul so i have 13 books to share with you guys today so without further ado let's jump right into the video so the first book i have here for you guys is the Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. It is a young adult contemporary romance novel which centers around David, a Korean-American guy, and Natasha, a Jamaican-American girl. And this entire story takes place over a time of 24 hours within which Natasha's family is about to be deported to Jamaica. So that's that's pretty much it that's all i know about this book so i need to read the book to find out more about it so that is all for the sun is also a star the next book that i have for you guys is rebecca by daphne du maurier oh my god that is one hell of a pretty cover isn't it guys and I don't know much about this book because I'm a person who loves going into books blind because I like to be surprised. So if you're looking for very well-structured and detailed synopsis, then I'm really sorry. I'm not able to provide you that. But anyway, uh, so this book focuses on a main character who is, you yeah. don't know her name throughout the book. So she travels to southern France and there meets a guy called Maxim de Winter and falls in love. And then after a whirlwind of romance and courtship, they get married. But after marrying him, slowly the heroine realizes that maybe she is not as good as his first wife, Rebecca. Well, yes, Maxim de Winter is a widower and the name of his first wife was Rebecca. And as our protagonist lives in his home, she feels as if she is not as good as Rebecca and her life becomes so quiet and lonely and friendless. So this is basically a book about self-discovery and self-identity. So I will need to read it to find out. The next book that I have want to share with you guys is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. This is a young adult fantasy novel which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Now a little fact about me guys, Beauty and the Beast is my all time favorite Disney movie, Disney book, Disney story, whatever you want to call it since always and so when I heard that this book is a uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling I was like yay I want to read it so this is the story of Prince Ren who is the cursed beast and Harper who is a young girl living in modern day Washington DC so after a certain events she ends up into the cursed kingdom of ember fall where prince ren lives and from there ensues the story of beauty and the beast so i have already started reading this book guys as you can see i have a bookmark right here and i am not very far into it i have read about 62 pages and so far i'm really liking this book the next book that I would like to share with you guys is this one, The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Honestly speaking, I know practically nothing about this book except that Murphy from Murphy Napier, she's one of my favorite booktubers, uh, she loves this book and in almost all of her videos she mentions this. So I decided that well, I too should give it a try and so here I am. Uh, this follows Locke Lamora who at the age of six became an orphan and got entangled with a kind of gang I would say and this is the first book in the Gentleman Bastard series and from there it is the story of the gang and Locke Lamora as they 
go on to various heists and quests I guess so I'll give you a review about this book once I finish reading it I have not started it yet so then I have a very very popular book here on YouTube The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern so this is a very pretty cover even though the book is so tiny um, this is a story about a circus that apparently appears only at night all of a sudden as you could have guessed and also it is the story of two magicians um, Celia and Marco who have to I guess battle it out um, about who the better magician is so that is all I know it is such a popular book such a hyped book and some of my favorite booktubers like Hannah from A Clockwork Reader and Brit from Basically Brit, they all love this book. So I decided that even I would like to read it and see for myself if I like it or not. After this, I have a few Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab books. So here it is, guys. I'm sorry if they are just not in proper order but here are those books and the first one i'll just keep it first a duology is the savage song and the second book our dark duet i literally know nothing about this book except that uh it follows monsters monsters not as in literal monsters but i think in this world any bad deed you do is equivalent to the birth of a monster and I have heard really good reviews about this book and these also fall into the genre of young adult fantasy I guess so I would like to read this too and the next duology of V.E. Schwab that I have here is the villains duology the first book is vicious and the second book is vengeful so vicious I cannot give you a synopsis about Vengeful because obviously it is the second book and there will be spoilers. So I'll just tell you about Vicious. So Vicious follows two college roommates, Victor and Eli, who are very greatest of friends and very smart people. And they come across that an idea that you can create extraordinaries. That is some if you experience some near-death experiences under certain circumstances you can uh, give the birth of eos or extraordinaries so that is about their college life and after that we follow them then we follow these characters 10 years later when victor has just come out of prison and eli is trying to eradicate any superhuman extraordinaries that he can find and now they are enemies of each other so obviously there must be a very interesting story and i can't wait to read these books guys the next two books i have are hard covers they were very expensive but well yeah girls spend all her money on books so this is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I'm sorry if you guys are blinded by the glare, but this is another very shiny, beautiful book. So this follows Laszlo Strange, who is a librarian, and his entire life he had spent reading about this city of Weep. Yes, you heard me right, Weep, which is supposed to have vanished like it existed a long time ago and then it didn't like in the present times no one remembers weep no one even remembers the actual name of the city they just know it by the name of weep and there and laszlo strange has spent his entire life studying and researching the city of weep until one day obviously by certain turn of events when he has to go to the city of we and this is another very very popular book on booktube so many people love this book and i have heard that laney taylor has a very beautiful way with words she has very lyrical writing and i have not read anything by laney taylor before so 
I'm very excited to read this and once I finish it, I'll definitely let you guys know how I enjoyed this book. As you can see, it is quite a big boy right here, so maybe I'll need some time to finish this up. Next book I have is another young adult fantasy or I guess you can call it adult fantasy. I think this is adult fantasy. It is Never Night by J. Kristoff. So, I am quite nervous in reading this book because so many people love this book and again there are people who simply do not like this book. But since I bought it, obviously I am interested in reading this and finding for myself whether I like it or not. So this follows a young girl called Mia Corvair who I guess her father was executed and then she gets admitted or she joins a kind of military academy school or a school of assassins. I'm not sure guys if I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. Please look up the descriptions in Google or Wikipedia or Goodreads, but that is all I know. And of course, like these are the buzzwords for me, like assassin schools, yes, give it to me. So Nevernight is the next book. And these are fantasies. Of course, because fantasy is the genre that I love to read the most. And so I have a lot of fantasy books in here. So this one is Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is another of the very popular books. Yes, we do see a trend here, right? I tend to buy the very popular books on booktube here because of course, how else would I know about these books? And the hype gets to me. I'm totally that girl who jumps on the hype train and then checks out for myself whether I like it or not. So I know literally nothing about this book except that it has got very high ratings, it is a very hyped up book and it is a very heavy fantasy thriller and another big boy. But I just love this copy, it is such a floppy paperback and who doesn't love a floppy paperback, isn't it? And are you ready for this guys? The last and final book of this haul, it is a brick of a book, I kid you not. Here it is, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book came out, I guess, just a few days ago, I think about a month or one and a half months before, and I immediately bought it. I actually pre-ordered this book because, well, it, as you can see, it's a heavy epic fantasy and also it is a standalone fantasy which we do not find often because with fantasies it's mostly a series of books but it's very rare to find a standalone fantasy book and so it consists of dragons as you can see you can see by the beautiful cover of the book so epic fantasy dragons yes give it to me so obviously i have bought this book and as you might have guessed i have not started reading it yet but i will this is so intimidating guys this book i guess it must be thousand pages oh yes it is like 800 something 820 pages around so it is a hefty commitment and I will need a lot of time to read this. As of now, I have not started it, guys, but I will. I will eventually get to it. So, yes, that is the last book of our book haul here. And I will leave the links to all these books down below in the description box if you would like to check those out. I pretty much buy 90% of my books from Amazon because that's easily accessible. So if you would like, you can check those out. And also I will leave the links to my social media accounts. I don't have many. I just have like Instagram and Goodreads and I will leave those down below as well. And also if the video quality is not good, the lighting is not good, which I know it is not. And um, please pardon me guys, please forgive me. This is my very first YouTube video. I, do, I don't even know guys like how to arrange stuff, how to talk. So if I'm fumbling and if I am sounding nervous, it's because I am. This is, as I'm mentioning time and again, my very first video. So please forgive me guys. And if you did, by any miraculous chance, if you did like this video, then please 
put a thumbs up and share this and also put a comment down below i would love to talk to you guys in the comments and um, just bear with me i will eventually try to improve of course and have a good day or night and i will see you again soon in another video bye guys